Welcome to the Ask a Swim Pro show. My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro, and we are joined by My Swim Pro ambassador, Brian Young. Hey, Ferris, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm, I'm awesome. Uh, tell us about the Mighty Max Swim that you just finished. We just did that uh, this past weekend. Uh, my buddy, Matt Neely, who's also a My Swim Pro ambassador, and, and myself, we, we went out there to, to Mackinac and swam the Straits of Mackinac, which is a, a little over a four mile swim parallel to the Mackinac Bridge, and uh, we were taken out by ferry to, to um, one, one side uh, in the morning and had to swim to the other side. It was a great swim. It was really exciting, heavy currents. Uh, you know, I, I haven't done anything like that before, so it was, a, it was a really great experience. I had my family with me. Yeah, and so what was the hardest part of that race? The hardest part was, you know, we, we don't have many bodies of water uh, local to us here to practice with that type of current. Mm -hmm. we, the, the day started off, we were told there was a very minimal current, mm -hmm. but during the swim, which oftentimes happens in the straits, yeah. uh, it shifted mm -hmm. and, and the current became much more substantial. Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, I could feel myself being pushed away from the bridge mm -hmm. and I was fighting like crazy to get back and, and it was difficult. Yeah, I, I had trouble making progress back to the bridge, but, uh, but managed. Um, but that was the part I think that I was conscious of the whole time was mm -hmm. feeling that current and being able to make forward progress. Mm -hmm. So you're a swimmer, you're a triathlete, you're with zone three, you, you're in, you got a lot of knowledge about all the goods, the swimming goods uh, to be successful. So maybe tell us about, you know, if you're a beginner swimmer, like what are the, the, the first tools that you could use to be successful in pool or in open water? Yeah, I think for both, you want to make sure you're, you've got a good pair of goggles. Uh, you know, being able to see in the water is, is important. Uh, you want to have your goggles and, uh, you know, good bathing suit, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I think there's other tools you can get into, pole buoys, kickboards, things like that that, that, that help you um, you know, for example, pull buoy is nice because it, it allows you to focus on your arms and technique mm -hmm. with your arms, um, and uh, we some have of the other some stuff. Tools, yeah. So let's let's put, bring some of those on the camera. Brian, tell us about all the cool goggles and swimming gear that you have. Yeah, I've got a lap. bunch of them, bunch of them with me, Ferris. I can hold them. Come on. Uh, okay. So here you go. You can hold these. Uh, so this is for this was designed as a pool goggle. This is called the Volare Zone Three Volare goggles. They're sharp. Uh, very low profile, streamlined uh, look to them, and they're great in particularly pools, but a lot of our uh, elite athletes also like them in open water. Yeah. They just fit a little uh, closer to the face they're and they're cool. smaller. They yep. Sweet. Um, these are designed for women or people with more narrow faces. These are mm -hmm. called the Apollo goggles, super comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're, you know, they're just smaller lenses, so they fit people with smaller faces, but they're great. They, these sell very well for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And, and they're great for open water and pool. Yep. These are called the attack goggles. Uh, they're polarized. These were really, you can wear them for pool or open water. Uh, they are, they have mirrored um, uh, uh, polarized lenses. So they'll cut the glare off the water. And you'll can, you can see that there, there's a uh, nice peripheral uh, mm -hmm. view here. So yep. you, you get, uh, you know, you can these see quite right. a bit. And these also, these are called the, the vapor goggles, very popular for us as well. These are polarized also, and uh, they fit a little bit larger mm -hmm. than the uh, attack. Um, these fit, attack. Yeah, these fit on the outside of your eyes. Um, and so, you know, but they're, they're very comfortable, again, polarized, mm -hmm. and have that similar mirrored coating. Uh, I feel like I'm ready to attack right now. And you look like a, like, like a superhero. I mean, you're ready to go. Yep. Go, go white on white. Perfect. Yep. But both very comfortable, easy, easy to adjust. Um, single strap, but split in the back. Mm -hmm. So they're comfortable. Nice, nice. Okay, and then we got some uh, suits. Uh, yeah, this here. is just, I brought some bathing suits. We, we, Zone 3 has got a, a large collection of bathing suits. There's the men's. We have women's uh, bathing suits, really nice There's designs. There's a lot of different suits out there. So what, yep. I mean, if someone's just getting started, like... Do they need like a bodysuit? Do they a jammer? I mean, no. What? I think I think the jammers are nice uh, because it gives you a little bit of coverage. Um, yeah. You know, more than your brief or sure. the smaller suits. Be modest in the front. Uh, yeah, but but they're nice. They fit well. They're comfortable. These are made uh, very uh, well with with able to handle chlorine yeah. regularly, so they last body. long. They they maintain their color mm -hmm. and their compressive uh, quality. Mm -hmm. So they they've been they're great for us. Cool. Uh, and then, you know, as you get into open water swimming, other concerns come into play. 
for example, if you're going into cold water, mm -hmm. a lot of people like having uh, neoprene caps. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're, you're probably used to the, um, um, the silicone caps or latex yeah. that you get with races, but a lot of times people will wear this under the race cap. Uh, this gives them extra warmth, yeah. maintaining the warmth in your, in your head, is so you're not... Five, five millimeter? Um, it's like, it's like, a, it's like, feels like a wetsuit. Yeah, on your yeah, head. it's that same material. It's got a, a, an adjustable strap here, Velcro, so you can make it comfortable. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so it keeps you warm in excellent, cold water. Excellent. So those are nice. We also have these swim socks that are great. Not only do they keep your feet warm in real cold water, but they also protect your feet. They've got a oh. grippy bottom here, but they protect your feet when you're exiting the water uh, so that you don't get hurt on a, a, a rock mm. uh, or something that you might step on, some is debris. Like an ex if you're wearing a wetsuit with these, it's like an extension beyond covering your body. It's covering your head, it's covering your ankles, right. feet, everything. And some, I mean, there, you know, some races will allow you to race with that, but also for practice. If you just training. enjoy getting out into cold, cold water, a lot of people really love those. Yep. Along the same lines, we have... Um, oh, oh, oh. Gloves, which keep your hands You're warm. Like Spider Man. That's right. Yeah. So you got your uh, uh, okay. nice, okay. nice stuff here. But this keeps your your hands warm. It's got okay. Velcro. So these Not are to be nice also. Used with the winter gloves for cleaning the right. snow. Right. Different pair of gloves. Exactly. Different purpose. Excellent. Excellent. So that's those. This is, I mean, along with the bathing suits. Some people, when you're training, in terms of in terms of a training tool, like the uh, drag shorts. Yep. So, you know, if it, this will make you feel slower when you're in practice, but then you take them off you and you amazing. race you feel like and monster. you feel really fast. You put those with the attack goggles on and you attack. <laughs> That's right. And then uh, in terms of other tools we have for the pool, um, the, uh, paddles can be good yeah, also. Yeah. Work on strength and technique. Yeah. These are uh, uh, ergo mm -hmm. uh, paddles that yep. kind of form to your hand. Yep. Some people like them because they're easy to slip on quickly. Yeah, they form to your hand yeah. and you can pull. And, and if you're pulling not the way you're supposed to, which you're supposed you'll to pull straight back, you'll get that feedback and it'll kind of shimmy off your hand. Yeah. And then these are called power paddles. They come in different uh, yep. sizes, mm -hmm. but basically these, you, 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 they're flat mm -hmm. and, and same, same thing. You, yeah. you work so on your stroke. let's compare the size here between these Yeah, two. and again, these are larger. I think yeah, this yeah. is a large size, but they come in smaller. You know, the thing I love about paddles is that because you get that little bit extra resistance, it's a little bit bigger than your hand, yep. you get a better feel of the water and you feel stronger and you feel more engaged with the water. That's what I like about Well, I, I like even using them for, you know, a set even in warm up, just because it, yeah. it gets you to f have that feel it's of what that, yeah, exactly, muscles. it engages your muscles. Yeah. I love it, I love it. All right, so we have more goodies. Yeah, so I brought a, uh, an example of, you know, Zone 3 does a lot of uh, the swim specific mm -hmm. uh, products, but we also uh, are triathlon in general. Mm -hmm. And this is an example of one of our tri suits that you would wear during a triathlon. Yeah. Um, this is our top so of the line. People know the, the process. If yep. you're doing a triathlon, you put this on and you wear it the entire swim bike run. And then for the swim, you would put a wetsuit on top of it. Correct? Exactly. And then when you're done with the swim, you take the wetsuit off and you're mm -hmm. stuck with, with this. And this is super thin and lightweight. So you can swim with it underneath the wetsuit. It doesn't feel like And it's not going to absorb exactly. uh, much thin. water. It's, it's a real comfortable leg grippers Real. here. Yeah. It's got uh, an area in the back here where you can put nutrition yep. uh, in here to store for your race. And it's, it's treated um, uh, so that it, it water mm -hmm. brushes off, it, it doesn't cool. absorb. It looks sleek, it's, it's nice, it's lightweight, it's not gonna make you sweat too much. Yeah, and, and, and this is a one piece we also carry separate. So you get, your, you get your shorts, you get your so top, onesie. and you can go that route I'm too. Gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and plug in the, the My Tri Pro jersey that we've got right here. Look so, at that. So we'll have my TriPro new app for my swim pro linked in the description. This is a cycling jersey. So what's the difference between a cycling jersey and maybe something like this? The cycling jersey, I think, is going to fit a little bit looser. Yep. Uh, it's yep. just you know purely for cycling, yep. and uh, it's not quite as tight to the body. Yeah. And this one you'd wear in the full triathlon. Yep. It's got you know your arms are going to be unconstricted. Yep. You're sleeveless. The my TriPro cycling jersey. You've got arms. You've got now, we also do have that same tri suit. We have a lot with of the tri suits with arms. With arms, yep. They say choice. that technically uh, you do save a little bit of time. Yep. Uh, you're a little faster with the arms. Yeah, but yeah. some people like the feeling of yeah. having and sleeveless. And this one, it connects the onesie. It's, it's called a onesie because yep. it's top. 
plus the, the jammer basically yep. built in. A little bit of cushion on the on the butt bum area. Yep. Excellent. And then we got another one. Right and then here. this is for for you know certain um, mm -hmm. races in triathlon yep. are what's called not wetsuit legal. If the water yep. is too warm, they won't let you. Uh, swim, or at least not, they won't let you compete for awards yeah. with a wetsuit. Mm -hmm. And so then uh, people use this, which is uh, a Teflon coated, yeah. really nice, tight to the body mm -hmm. suit that doesn't have neoprene. So you're not going to get buoyancy out of it so much. But it's going to be compression yep. and it's faster than your skin, even if you shave. So. Exactly. And so it's, it looks neat. This is Kona inspired. You'll see our, our pro athletes at the Kona World Championships yeah. uh, triathlon wearing this suit mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very comfortable, but you will feel that compressive yeah. nature. No, I love suits like this because it's, it's so lightweight and it gives you enough compression that you just feel like a monster. You put these with the attack goggles. And then, what was the other goggle that has a the cool name? That's the, the attack, and then the other one the you talked about. The Volare. Volare. Vapor. The Vapor. Apollo. Wow. Where where is the inspiration for these names? It's, I uh, I don't know. That's, but they all... that's good. I like, and then the wetsuits, which we'll talk about soon. Uh, those are the Vanquish. Yes. Those are some awesome. Not the car. But the, <laughs> the Vanquish wetsuit. Yeah, we've got we've got a bunch. I mean, one thing nice with Zone Three is we do have different uh, wetsuits at different price points. So we sure. appeal to different level of athletes, yeah. whether you're entry level, middle range, or elite, uh, yeah. there's something for everybody. Yeah, so tell us about this. This is a very important tool for open water swimming specifically. So what is, what is this? This is our swim safety buoy. Yep. Uh, it's really nice for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, it, it helps. Yeah. It helps you uh, be noticed, obviously, yeah. uh, the, the bright colors. It comes in this orange and also in a bright pink. Yep. So if you're on the, in the open water, you want to be seen. If there's boats or you know, yep. other people, if you happen to be out with a group, it's easy for you to sight for each other. Yeah. And uh, so, so number one, people can see you. Yep. Number two, if you do get a leg cramp safety. or something, it's safety. It gives you something to lean on. Yeah. Take a you rest. Will not go under with this because this thing, when it's inflated, it's what it's going to buoyancy of 18 kilograms. So yeah, it'll stay afloat you know, and the keep human you. Body, worst case scenario, you're still going to be above the water. Yeah, and what's also nice about this, it's got a handle. Yep. Um, what's also nice is it has a dry uh, yeah. bag area here that you can throw a water bottle, your keys. You can uh, put the My Swim Pro sword in there. Exactly. Take, no, I don't know if it's going to fit. <laughs> <but> maybe. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I, I put my phone in it last weekend at the Mackinac race, so my family oh, you could had track your phone me. With you the whole wow, yep. That's well, because cool. my family could track the GPS, so it, oh, it worked out very cool. nicely. Wow. Um, and so you can put snacks. Um, yeah. So it, it, it's really so useful. How does it work? In okay, so you put stuff inside of it, and then kind of show us how yeah. it works, and we'll show the final. So you you put whatever you want to in there, on the inside. and then on the inside of the dry area there, then you fold it yep. back yep. like this. Yep until it tells you a to line. stop folding. There's a line, yep. And then you, you just kind of reach across here, clip, you it, clip it, and that will keep it watertight. Yep. And then there's an area here where you uh, unscrew the top and, then you, and you can blow air in to inflate it. Yeah. And you, it looks like you have one inflated and already. I, I was ahead of the game. I went ahead and blew this up. Now, I will note, this is actually very, very easy to blow up. You might look at it and be like, oh man, that's gonna take out all my, <laughs> my, all my oxygen before I go for a swim. No, I mean, I think like, four or five puffs on each cartridge uh, each there's two different compartments and literally 10 breaths and it's fully inflated ready to go and then you, you tie this around your waist and it, you don't even notice it when you swim yeah you got a, a, an adjustable strap mm -hmm. here yep. that will allow you to uh, put that around your waist and adjust mm -hmm. it but yep. then this thing just kind of drags behind you yep. once it's inflated and um, and, and you don't notice it's there. You do not notice it at all. Okay, so we talked about the buoy. Oh, and also, Ferris, just real quickly, yep. there's another uh, thing here to deflate it that, that allows the air to come out in two seconds, basically. I mean, yeah. so it's a, it's a bigger compartment. Yep. I, I don't know if you can see it on the video, yep. but you just press down and all the air comes out quickly. Another feature, which I just realized with this uh, buoy, it has a whistle, so if you need to call for help, like <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, it's fantastic. I, I, was, I mean, you know, hopefully you don't really need that, but it's nice to know that you have something that's going to keep you safe, visible, and in a, you know, in a time of need, <laughs> you can call out for help, which is great, which is awesome. Yeah. So that's very cool. Okay, let's talk about uh, wetsuits. Yes. Wetsuits. Do you have any wetsuits? Uh, I do. At your reach? Let's do it. Let's do it. I have uh, here. Now okay. it's all sandy. Okay. But uh, it's our Vanquish wetsuit. This is our elite. Uh, wetsuit and it's in it, all all vanquish wetsuits come in a waterproof bag for storage yep 
And you mentioned that there's a lot of different kinds of wetsuits, different price points. So if someone's doing their first triathlon or something, there's a wetsuit that's good for them. If someone wants to go out and get the you know the best they can, it, this, would you say this is the this is the primo? This is the the best line? you can. The best you can. <laughs> it right. falls under that in, in that category. Sure, let's um, see it. Yeah. Ooh. So, so I'm, immediately what I'm noticing, it's you look like a superhero if you were to wear this. Right. We're gonna put it on. We'll have some content, so stay tuned. But the one thing that I love about a wetsuit that has the arms is you, you're insulated by temperature and you get the benefit of buoyancy because this thing on its own will float. Yep. And then it's gonna it's gonna and the reason why you want buoyancy is because the higher you are in the water, the less resistance you have and therefore you swim faster. Yeah, so better people, body position. Better body position, compression. Although less less about compression, I think more about the buoyancy with this suit because it's gonna help you sit higher in yep. the water. So this is the suit here. Sorry, it was yeah. inside out before. No, uh, but really, any any good wetsuit you're going to get, and, and that including this Zone Three wetsuit, mm -hmm. is going to have yep. different panels of of neoprene mm -hmm. that will give you different levels of buoyancy. Different thicknesses. Exactly. So yep. in the hips and 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 in this area here, uh, you're going to have your five millimeters, which is the most uh, neoprene thickness five, you can have yeah, for racing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and then we've managed to work that up in, into the chest area here too. So you yep. have some increased buoyancy in this area. But when you start getting up into the upper chest and the shoulders and particularly the arms, we reduce that down to say, I think it's 1.5 millimeters yeah, yeah, of thickness. Well, and, 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 and this too, and the, uh, one of the trademarks of this new Vanquish that was redone this year is it has a 0.3 millimeter mm. arm panel here. So I don't know how much you can see on the video, it but feels, this I is mean, like paper like, thin. It's like fabric, like, you know, shirt fabric. And the idea with that is that you don't feel like you're wearing sleeves mm -hmm. and it's just, it, it, it reduces the fatigue of your arms doing this yeah, a of lot of, during a race. Grams, you're just, right. it, you save uh, energy that way. Totally. Um, and so it's super comfortable, mm -hmm. very flexible. One of the, one of the proprietary things about this suit in particular yep. is that uh, there's a single panel mm -hmm. of neoprene from down the arm until that one panel here, but over the shoulders, over the, the back and to the center of the chest, it's one panel of neoprene. One piece. So there's no seams. There's yeah. nothing that, that would, that would make for a constriction. And it's more streamlined in the water too. Exactly. Less drag. And it looks good. Tell, tell us about on the forearms, these are, so it looks like this is its own forearm thing. What's happening here? <laughs> so this is called um, uh, the, the cool spot, basically. Yeah. You, when you have this on and it's going to be on your forearm, mm -hmm. when you pull through the water, you'll get more feedback from the water uh, in terms of the coolness. Yeah, right. You feel it. And, and which is good because you want to feel yourself pulling that water. Yeah, totally. And uh, so you'll, you'll get that kind of an increased it's, level it's of feel. It's simulating like a, like a paddle almost. So you have a paddle on your hand and yep. this is going to give you that that early vertical forearm, it'll make it easier to get into an early vertical forearm. And with right. fatigue, you can be more cognizant of what, what's happening with your stroke, which is really, yeah. really nice. And then you have these colored cuffs here, which you have on the wrists and yeah. the ankles, uh -huh. um, which is like a, a speed cuff, it's called. So uh, in transition, particularly yep. in triathlon, mm -hmm. you want to get this thing off as quickly as you can when you're get out of the water. Yep, and, and this thing snaps off really quickly in transition mm -hmm. totally. uh, to help you with that um, that change. Yeah. So this suit is wet. What's the last race or time you used it? <laughs> this was the uh, Mackinac race. So this and is I... a fresh suit, so it worked. <laughs> right. It, it worked. worked. It, it worked good. very, very yeah. well in Mackinac. And I, I, you know, you always want to rinse it off afterwards. Yep, yep. And I left it inside out. So I apologize for the no, delay. Good. So, no, I mean, so what advice do you have? So this is like top of the line. Yep. And there's other models that are less expensive. Yep. And it may be not as fast, but they're still going to make you pretty fast. Yep. If someone wants to spend, you know, if they're going budget edition, we'll work our way up. So budget edition, they're gonna, they're just beginner swimmer. What do they need in the pool or open water just to get started? Like, you know, a hundred bucks, what's, what, what can yeah. I get? I, I think just a good pair of goggles that's comfortable, that won't make you want to get out of the water. Mm -hmm. um, you want a good pair of goggles yep. and, um, and, and a bathing suit that's gonna last you. Suit. Cause so you don't wanna have to keep purchasing those all, all the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. our, our suits last really well. So, that so we're with those, we're definitely under a hundred with those. Do you think yep. we can add a swim cap and we'll still be under a hundred? Well, swim caps become uh, more important when you don't have hair like me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't have as much hair as I used to, mm -hmm. but uh, for, particularly for women with longer hair oh. and, and guys, I mean, it not only reduces drag in the yeah. water, uh, but it, it, it 
you know, it, it helps you, you know, helps you go faster and uh, um, it, it offers some benefits. So a cap is cheap. You can yeah, get, yeah. add those right on. So we'll go cap, goggles, swimsuit. We're under a hundred bucks. Get in the pool, go swim. Okay. I would also, and, and as you can add them, I mean, we have a really nice uh, kickboard that, yeah. that can help you focus on mm -hmm. your kicking, whether it's in warm up of, or other sets. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe that, you know, a, a pull buoy, a buoy uh -huh. that would, or, or buoyancy shorts oh, yeah. are very popular for us. Buoyancy shorts are like the pull buoy in yes. that it gives you some lift to your hips. Uh -huh. Um, and, and, but with the, with the buoyancy shorts, you don't have to hold anything between it's your legs. It's built into the suit. Right. <laughs> so you can wear that and get that lift, uh, -huh. uh on your hips yep. and then you can focus more on your arm technique totally. and strength and that sort of thing. So you jumped ahead of me a little bit, but we're yep. going to start adding equipment now. So let's say, okay, we hundred bucks, we're, we're in the pool, we're, gonna, we're, we're in the open water, we're training. So now we, okay, we, I'm getting a little bit more serious. I want to spend another 50, hundred bucks. So what other equipment or things would you add into that equation besides the pull buoy, uh, kickboard you mentioned, what else? Yep. Um, I, again, I would say paddles, paddles okay. uh, are the important. Of water. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, what and else? And if we're going to go open water, so maybe, you know, maybe we'll add. Yeah. I mean, I would definitely, I, I think every open water swimmer should at least have one of these things. Buy one of these. Yep. In the link. <laughs> they're, one of these. they're very important. I mean, cause that's a safety issue. And I, I, when I go out, I'm a strong swimmer, but I, I always yeah, bring it with me. Totally. And it's good. Like peace of mind, uh, when you swim with one of these as well, I would say, yep. and then let's say, okay, separate from that. So now we're going to get into the wetsuits. So how many different levels of suits are we looking at? We, we've got two different entry level suits. We've okay. got a suit called the advance, which yep. are, which is our initial entry level suit. Mm -hmm. And then we have another suit called the vision, Ooh. which is also considered entry level, but it, it's a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. uh, but still budget conscious. Yep. Um, they, both those suits are very popular for yep. us. And if you're just getting into the sport, maybe you haven't had a wetsuit before, mm -hmm. they're great options totally. to have something to, to give you buoyancy in the water. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're going to have a little bit thicker neoprene in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have that, you know, necessarily 1.5 millimeter. It might be yeah. two millimeters. Totally. So, uh, but but they're, you know, as you start building in more benefits, it get things get more expensive. Yep. But they're they're great entry level suits. So entry level, we'll spend you know a couple hundred bucks, and then we there's another level. Then there's a jump to our mid level suit, which is the Aspire, which is is one of the most awarded, highly awarded. Mm -hmm wetsuits made nowadays yeah, awesome. from any company. Um, and, and I love the suit. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It, in fact, this year it won, uh, the triathlete magazine buyer's guide, Ooh. uh, wetsuit of the, uh, the best in class for wetsuits. So that's, that's and that's suit. a mid range. That's a it, it retails for under $500 <laughs> okay. and it's fantastic. Yep. Okay. So now let's take us to the next level. You're doing an Ironman half hardcore open water athlete of some sort what what's the what's the top of the line what are we gonna get and, and the top of the line is is this here this is the the vanquish yeah, wetsuit nice, nice. um this was newly remodeled this year yep. as was our yep. aspire wetsuit yep. um those were redone this year and 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 they've been great they're super yep. comfortable um you know i i think that if your chief concern is buoyancy <laughs> i think that the aspire is is fantastic uh -huh. our elite athletes a lot of them, the, the, the real uh, most important thing is that flexibility in the arms. Yeah, and this gives speed. this yeah. gives a little bit more just with that thin arm uh -huh. uh, um, quality. Yep. But but they're both, you, you don't go wrong. But still, even at the elite level and you're doing Ironman, you know, for less than a thousand bucks, you're going to get the top of the line Vanquish. You're going to get a buoy, goggles, suit, you know, and you're ready to go. Yeah. Yep. Right on, right on. Any other things, uh, any other tips, I guess, for the beginner or mid-level, let's say, open water swimmer, pool swimmer, if they're just trying to get started, what do they do? I think uh, the most important thing is, is just get in the water. I think, yeah. you can over, I think you can overthink your equipment also. Oh, so start probably. with things and, and maybe periodically add some things yep. that uh, keep you inspired or motivated. Mm -hmm. We all like toys yeah. and, and you get things that keep you excited. But I think just the, the, the love of getting in the water and having fun out there and I think being consistent totally. with your training or, or workouts, yeah. uh, you, you'll, you'll enjoy it and you'll see a significant increase in your fitness yeah. and, and, and enjoyment over time just by making yourself get in the water. Totally. And you should download MySwimPro. <laughs> download and, and my I've, swim pro. And I've used that. I, I've used my swim pro for years now. And, and I find that helps keep me motivated also because I'm never without a structured uh, yeah. training mm -hmm. um, uh, workout. Yeah. And I can, always, I can always pull it up. I can move it to my watch. 
and get my training in um, and, and stay motivated that yeah. way as well. And Brian has a special discount for my swim pro, which we'll put in the, in the comments description of this video so you can check it out and get the my swim my swim pro subscription at a discount what as an ambassador for my swim pro i guess what is that what what is that like and what i um maybe stories or anything that you've seen that are you could share with the audience yeah i i love being an ambassador for my swim pro i'm I, really i'm an ambassador for things that i i really believe in and i've, yeah. I've been a part of my swim pro for years now and i i've used it um and i love letting people know about some of the things I use that, that have worked well. Um, so I, I, I see people in my master's swim group in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And, and what's, what's funny is that nowadays, I mean, you guys have grown quite a bit. And, and a lot of people already know of my swim pro yeah, that nice. I'm talking to, which is, which is good to hear uh, as well. But, uh, but yeah, that group um, and in other places, the gym, other, other places I, I may train, I uh, enjoy telling people about the program. And, and, and particularly where people don't have an individual coach and they be, may be looking for some guidance on how to work out a, a, mm -hmm. efficiently or effectively, uh, that's a great lead-in for me to offer this up and say, hey, you should check this out. Um, and they, they, they pretty much universally have thanked me for introducing me to the program. That's awesome. Uh, and it sounds like uh, you're enjoying the process with Zone 3. Swimming Love it. My Swim Pro. It sounds like you had an awesome Mighty Max swim in the Vanquish. Yes. Uh, and thank you for all of your help as an ambassador. We really of course, it. it's my pleasure. Right on. So that was Brian Young uh, on this episode of Ask a Swim Pro Show. Hopefully that was a good overview of all the different products and tools that you can use to be successful in the water, both pool and open water. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them in the comments of this video and shoot us a message. That was Ask a Swim Pro. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.